All right, it's day 16 of 31, and today we're going to be building an AI agent workforce. And we're going to use multiple models and multiple function calls. And we'll be using Autogen to orchestrate everything. And here's an example of the end result. Mario Kart in a mushroom land with a rainbow in the background. All right, and for the workflow, we're going to have four agents. We're going to have a user proxy agent, an image creator agent, an image describer agent, and then the audio creator. All right, then we're going to start out with the user agent talking to the group chat. And the first agent I'll talk to is the image creator. So we're going to give it some prompt to create an image like this Mario image. And then we'll have the image describer using the image to text model. And then I'll come up with some description such as Mario Kart and a mushroom land with a rainbow in the background. And then we'll take that text, send it to another function call, and the audio creator will then create the audio from that. So for all the models, we're going to have a text to image, an image to text, and a text to audio. And at the end, we're going to use movie pie to combine all those into a composite video to create the MP4. Well, we have a good bit to cover, so let's get started. So the first thing is you need to install all the requirements. I will have a requirements.txt file for you. All you need to do is install from there. You'll type the command pip install dash r requirements.txt, and then we're good to start. All right, so I have everything separated out to kind of make it easier. So I have all the agents in the agents.py, all the APIs and headers from Hugging Face in the API Python file, all the functions here, and then the main workflow. Well, let's go over the API.py first because this has all the APIs and headers for all the inference servers which host the models that we're going to be calling. This first one here is the stable diffusion for image to text. Then we have the Salesforce one we just went over yesterday, which is the text to image. And then we have the text to speech, which will take the text from the text to image model and then create audio from it. And then you'll just use your bearer token here. Right now, let's go over all the agents. We have an LLM config. Now, because I'm going to be using functions, which means we'll be using function calling. Generally right now, not a lot of local open source LLMs can handle it. So I will be using GPT 3.5 Turbo to handle this, but I have heard that Mistral can handle function calling. So if you want to use LM Studio, I have the base URL, or if you want to use Olama, you can also put that in the JSON config list. So I had the LLM config, which is calling autogen.config list from JSON. And this is getting the config list.json file and the properties from it. I want the temperature to be zero and I set the C to 41 and you, and you can adjust the C number to have different outcomes. Then we have the image creation assistant. I tell it will be the first agent to perform a task and that will be to create an image. Then I have the image describer agent and their job is to describe the image. And this will be based on an image that is created from the image creation agent. And then finally, we have the audio creator assistant agent, which is to create speech from text. I tell it that the image describer will give you text, which is describing an image and then I'll create audio from that. And then finally, we have the user proxy agent. I set up the group chat with autogen.groupchat, give it all of the agents, max round of 10. And then I have a group chat manager, which gives the LLM config, the group chat, and a max consecutive auto reply of 10. And this is where all the logic is. This is the functions.py. So you can see there's quite a bit here that we're importing, but we have queries based on the different inference servers. Here is the query that's going to call the inference server to create an image. So it's going to gather this API URL and headers, which is for stable diffusion, based on a message when we call this, and then return the content. And then the same thing for the image to text. Once that file is created, we want to open that file, read the contents, and then give that contents to the image to text inference server, and then get the response from that. And then for the query speech, which is going to create audio from text, we want to pass in the response from the image to text model, and then it's going to call the inference server for the text to speech model, and then give us back the content, which will be the audio. Now the question is, Okay, great. Now we have the post record. We basically just have all the API requests to retrieve the information that we need, but how are they going to actually be called within Autogen? Well, this is where function calling happens. The first thing is that the user proxy is the only user agent. It's the one that's going to actually execute the functions. You have to register the user proxy for all of the functions. Okay. I know up here we've defined functions, but these are just kind of like sub functions that we're going to end up calling. But the create image here, this is the actual function call that the agent is going to use. We're going to register this function call to the image creation agent. We call the query create image message because the message we're getting here, this is after we call the LLM to give us some prompt to create an image. We're going to pass that in here. This query create image is then going to be called up here send the request to the inference server, and then respond back with an image. So I have a hard-coded file name, 
Then we say image.open using PIL library. And that's going to save that image that was given back to us from the inference server to an actual file over here in our directory. And because the way function calling is set up, it really wants you to return something, even if it doesn't really do anything. So I just return the message that we were given to this function call. And next, we have the image recognition function call. From the agent's Python file, we call agents.userProxy, then register for execution. And then we assign this to the agents.image describer. And once it's this agent's turn in the group chat, it's going to come down here, and we're going to call this query function, which is going to pass in the file name test.png, which is hard-coded from the image creation function. So it'll find it over here in the directory, and then it'll come back with the output, which will be what it thought of the image. It'll describe it for us. And then lastly, we have the audio creation function file. So again, register it to user proxy agent, because the user proxy agent or a user agent will actually execute this function call. And then we retrieve the audio creator from the agent's file and register that for the LLM. So once it's the audio creator's turn in the group chat, so we're gonna call the query speech function inside of this, the message or the, in, the inputs here is gonna be the message. So it's gonna be the output from the image describer. It's gonna end up coming here. We're gonna create an audio file from that or from the output of the query speech, which is going to the inference server. And then we just return the message. So we return something. And then you see this weird shake definition. Okay. Th what this is, is just going to be for the movie pie in the little shake that you see uh, whenever we create the MP4 that we saw in the very beginning. This is what creates that effect. Very simple. Not really not much of an effect, to be honest with you, but it was just to show that you can do something with the MP4. And finally, we come to the workflow Python file, and this is where we initiate everything. Okay, so we call agents.userproxy.initiateChat because, again, the agents Python file is where all of our agents are. And we're going to initiate the chat with the manager, which is the group chat manager. The message is to create a prompt for image generation AI with Mario. You know what? Let's, let's do it with Luigi instead. And then I want it to perform the following in this order. So once it's going to create the prompt for the image creation, only when it's called the function for the image creation agent, then move on to the image describer. They will take that image and then describe it, return the output from there. And then the audio creator will take the output from the image describer and then create audio from it. And then once that's done, we're going to have a file name underscore test.png, which is from the image creation. If we don't have a sample MP3, because the problem with MoviePie is that we need to convert the .flac file into an MP3, which is what the movie pie can read. If we don't have this, we're basically going to take the audio file that we currently have, that we will have in our directory once this flow is finished, and then we're going to export that audio file into a sample.mp3 file. So now we have the audio clip as that sample.mp3. Um, I just looked something up that we could have some sort of little effect for it, and this is how you create the shake animation for the mp4. We're going to create a composite video clip with the image and then set that video's audio to the audio file, which will be the sample MP3. And then finally, we write this code to actually export that file into output.mp4, which will then play at the end. Now, a couple things here. In order for the sound to work, I read online that you need to have these two lines in this dot write video file, or else you won't actually hear the audio. I set the FPS to 30 because the audio seemed to work best when the FPS was set to 30, which is kind of a standard frames per second. I mean, 24 might work too, but I just use 30. And then I also ran into errors and to fix that, you need to make sure that um, you have a temporary audio file. So it's going to create a temporary audio file and then put everything together into the MP4. And the last file is the config list JSON file. So if you want to use Olama, or LM Studio. This is the local host for LM Studio. And you want to try with Mistral, the function call may work, but generally function calls, you know, as of for, for some time, have only worked with OpenAI's API. So we can try with the 3.5 Turbo model. So it doesn't cost very much at all. And then you, if you're using LM Studio or Olam and you want to try Mistral, then you don't really need an API key and you don't need a model. Unless you're using Olama, then you'll need the model that you're using, which you'll put in Mistral here. Okay, so it just finished with the with the output. You can see that it created the AI audio.flac, created the file name test.png, uh, then it converted the flac file into the mp3, and then at the end it created the output.mp4. So let's first look at the file. Okay, so it kind of created like a little Luigi. It's actually a pretty good picture. I like that one. I always like Luigi better than Mario. Okay, this is the mp4. Let's see how it sounds. Luigi is standing in the woods with a green hat. All right, awesome. It worked. Just make sure that you have your bear tokens and your API key set. Okay, awesome. We had a whole agent workflow that ended up creating a video file from us, an MP4, just from a simple text. Now, the prompt we put in the steps, and I what I realized with the prompt is it wasn't quite working until I 
completely define the steps like once this agent does this, only when it's finished, then move on to the next one. And so with a little help from the prompt, right, I only had five steps in there and I just had it, uh, I wanted to start out creating an image from a simple, uh, a simple prompt about Luigi. But we went from text all the way to the end result, which was an MP4. Now something that we could do is we could maybe have another agent come up with the whole MoviePie uh, code for us and then execute it. We could do that, but I just but the focus here was the function calling, and then having all those function calls query or uh, have a post request to the models with an inference server, and this is how you combine all the function calls together. Now, something another idea is whenever the image describer is done describing the image, that could go to another agent, and then that agent could make that um, could elaborate and make that even longer, right? Make it sound better, and then you would pass that on to the audio creator. Okay, well, I hope you learned something. There was quite a few things here that we went through, right? So we went through whole group chat, went through function calling, inference servers, going through different models, starting from text, going all the way to an MP4. And we went through file saving and file reading. And we kind of separated everything out into separate files. Take this, take everything that I do and try to improve on it. I want to see what you can do with this and then come and let me know what you've done in the comments section. I'd love to hear feedback. What do you think about this? Did this work for you? Did this not work for you? I have a new, I have a free newsletter that comes out every Sunday. You can sign up in the description below if you want. Here are also more videos on Autogen. We are officially over halfway of this 31 day challenge. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next video.